The Jungle Book must have been special for you. Oh, yeah. And maybe you could talk about how that sort of harkens back to your own childhood. Sure. I definitely think it's probably the best thing I've ever done work-wise. Um, I know it certainly it was a two two-year process, a very intensive process where really I was given a green light to explore every single possibility for John. And he gave, he gave me that green light. And I think that's why musically it turned out as well as it did. Um, to set it up for you, obviously, and, and, and the viewers, you have the original Jungle Book, which is classic. And, and a lot of people, probably their favorite movie of all time, myself included. The songs are timeless. Um, that story is timeless, you know, Kipling. Um, so once I got the call, there was a process of getting the job. John fought for me to get that job. And he thought I'd be the perfect person to do it because of my roots. He really wanted someone like me that it was grounded in Disney roots. And again, having told you my story, I've got deep roots there. and. So he felt instinctively, didn't even, I didn't even realize it at the time, but he felt instinctively that I would approach it um, with a lot more care perhaps or passion than somebody else might have because it's, to me, it's so sacrosanct that that property is Disney. It's where I come from. It's where my dad worked there. I was the little kid in Dick Sherman's office, you know, listening to them create. I was now going to give, be given the task to work with his material. We were going to re-record these songs with Dick, which was a joy that I got to work with Dick. So all of that was at play. And the biggest thing for me, besides the emotional part, which is because that's where I'm from and it brought all that back, the biggest part, now the intellectual part musically, was that I had to create a theme for Mowgli. I had to create a theme the way John described it, a soaring, beautiful theme that kind of represents, you know, Mowgli, but it represents the whole story, the whole jungle. And, you know, I, I lucked out with John on that one because I tried to, our first go round or two, I, I wrote a bunch of themes and I never like to say which is my favorite. I just play the filmmaker, the themes and hope that they like something. Well, he heard one particular one. It happened to be the one that I loved that I thought was the best one. And that became the Mowgli theme. And he goes, yeah, let me hear that number five again. That, it, what, that's pretty, mm, you know. And, and what's great about John is he, he, he really thinks about it and why he likes it and what it represents. So that number five became the Mowgli theme, which became the big theme in the end and the elephants. And um, if you've seen the movie, but. The journey was special because it's, it was a journey that started when my dad started working there and then all the way through. So it culminated in a scoring session that you, you came to. You were part of that. You were a big part of that. And I'll never forget it. Uh, I remember we were recording the last cue of the movie and everybody in the orchestra was in tears. Everybody. And it was just great because they knew my history. And they felt it. And it was great. Yeah. It was really great.